Hello everybody, Ed Larson here from Round Table of Gentlemen telling you about all the wonderful and beautiful products that are offered to you on AdamandEve.com This week, we're talking Luby, baby. Yeah, ID Juicy Lube. The most popular lube on all of AdamandEve.com. It's $14.95, I know what you're saying. $14.95, that's a lot of money for, you know, Vaseline. Well, you're not buying Vaseline, you moron. This is 100% guaranteed on AdamandEve.com. And that, you're not even, this is the best luby in the world. It's flavored luby. All right? It, it comes in watermelon, oh, I'm sorry, luscious watermelon, wild cherry, or strawberry kiwi. So let's read a review. Okay. Love the feeling and the scent of watermelon, and my lover loved the taste. You see what I'm saying? The lover loved the Most of it's all slippery, and it feels great. Does not feel sticky at all. I didn't know that was an issue with Luby, personally. I never know. I thought the Luby was supposed to be, you know, as, as less sticky as possible. But, you know. So apparently this one isn't sticky, so that's good. It also feels awesome as he's massaging me down there with my juicy lube! Explanation point. It's great! That was a review um, from Anonymous. <laughs> Alright, everyone. So go try ID Juicy Lube, where the squirters get squirting, and you could just fly right down the stairs if you, you know, you, it's, yeah, this is also great for pranks. You know, just put it on a bunch of stairs or on a, to <laughs> on a toilet seat. You know, you, you could, this is endless fun, Luby. You don't just have to be fucking with it. You know, and it, don't put too much luby on there. You know, that's a little, just a little advice. You know, too much, it's like, ah, where'd it go? What happened? You know, what am I doing here? Am I, am I having sex with a water slide? You know, it, you gotta, you know, use it to, you know, learn, learn it, learn the ins and outs of luby is what I'm trying to say. I don't just fly in there all willy nilly. You're liable to, you know, twist an ankle. Adam and Eve, where people learn how to fuck. Input the code CCR at checkout to receive a nice little discount, or if you spend enough money, some free porno vids. Now, here's the round table. The round table. Gentlemen! Hi! Let's broaden our minds! Lay on, gentlemen! Always civility. Fuck me! Oh, no. Everyone tell me to go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> that fucker. Fucking fat dumbhead. <laughs> yeah, <fuck laughs> never get sick of it. We good? We ready? All ready. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do a prayer. Not a guided meditation this time. Switching it up. Hallelujah. I miss I some reason I miss the guided meditation. It's, that's his best idea. <laughs> and this is the second Lord, best hallelujah. One. Merry Christmas, God. And to the to the <laughs> devil to the devil, happy end of the world. What? It's coming up soon. Twenty first bitches. Um, hi. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Hey, um, I feel fun and um I feel gray. Uh, on this nasty, sunny, uh, shitty Sunday. Verbal mm -hmm. abortion. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Words that should not be said, perhaps. So we'll keep it short and sweet because uh, everyone's just going to trash what I say. <laughs> Lord, I love ya. Let's start the show. Well, I'll wow. tell you. That Very was a good. Hold it, McNeely, everybody. Holding, can you lead us on a guided meditation? <laughs> sure. Close your eyes. You're given an awful prayer. Everyone is making fun of you. It sucks to do it. No one likes to do the prayer, and you have to do it today. So buckle down. You say something. You start to sing a song. No one buys it. And then uh, you say uh, Merry Christmas to God, and then everyone hates it more. Yeah, it's just, it is actually worse. I didn't think it could get worse. But then it did, shockingly. Um, and there you go, and you open your eyes, and we start the show. Oh, wow, you open your eyes, and you just visibly look at Holden in judgment. <laughs> All right, who's everybody here on the round table? Welcome to the round table number one, and then who is everybody here? Jackie Zbrowski, I'm a goose. Yeah. What I'm happens? a goose honk. When did I'm that a happen? goose honk. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> yeah. I'm Henry Zabrowski, and I'm a goose's husband. Oh, Ooh. my God, we're married. <laughs> That's sweet. Henry, how did you propose to her? Oh, I fucking put a ring of ham on her finger. Honk, honk, honk. Goose is getting married. married. <laughs> All right, we know Holden's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Kevin Barnett, man, I don't fuck with goose, geese, none of that shit. Fucking birds fly too long, man. Uh, yeah, that's a good True. point. We got uh, Micah Sherman here as well. Thanks for being here, Micah. Let's get ready to have a good time! You're my favorite Puerto Rican guest. Uh, and then, of course, the very gorgeous, un- unbelievably adorable Josh Rabinowitz. I'll tell you, if I was a girl, I would uh, desperately try to have sex with you every time I saw you. And then, of course, I would be turned down regularly and have sex with a man that looks more like myself. You'd be such a horrifying large woman. Yeah. Oh, it would be oh, awful. Yeah. Be so- oh, my God. You're so cute, flirt, though. Yeah. <laughs> Quite the flirt. I'd buy you a lot of drinks. You'd be and- very saucy, you know? Yeah. Pinkest asshole in comedy, Josh Rabinowitz. Oh, no, yeah, I appreciate that. It's gorgeous. All right, with us as always, newsman Marcus Parks. Marcus, what do you got for us today, bud? A 20-year-old Belfair man has been charged with assault after he allegedly put methamphetamine in his wife's cigarette without her knowledge. Ooh, that's fun. (laughs) The man told his wife, 22, that he wanted her to experience a meth high so that she'd understand why he likes it so much. (laughs) 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 Not bad. What are these? Are these men fall? Eat your face off. <laughs> right. So many women are like, "Why? I, I want to understand you. I want to know how you are. I want to know how you feel." I mean, he really went out of his way to uh, relate to his girlfriend. Oh uh, yeah, I made my lady sit and watch me smoke weed and play Skyrim today, and it was fantastic. Did oh. you force her to smoke weed and play Skyrim with you, or you were more selfish no, about no, it? No, but uh, I fucking killed a fucking ice warlock, and it ruled. That makes that for fascinating really conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Did it really happen? Was it in real life or was it in the game? Um, it could have been. Uh, no, she. Uh, yeah, she knitted and fucking cursed me. Um, she got mad at me today, actually. So it was a lot of fun. But I'll tell you, she's very attractive, <laughs> and I enjoyed hearing you guys have sex last night. Ooh. Hello, Ooh. Hello. 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 hello, hello. Keep the boobs out. <laughs> it was just. It was just holding, crying. Yeah. And then I'm like, yeah. oh, they're fucking. Oh, they're definitely. <laughs> yeah, they're well, definitely. Ben has, ben has the. Ee- Bed, so I always hear that. Just like, oh my god! It's a cock watch. Okay, this is the yeah. thing. This uh, is the just thing. Total silence, like nothing. <laughs> Except for Ben, just be like, please say something. Don't, please don't stop it. You know, it's like yeah, yeah, you're yeah, the yeah. door trying to be opened. Well, the um, nice thing <laughs> is this. <laughs> my my bed is a total cock block because I'm banging these girls now, and I'm like, tell me you don't love so me. And that's many, why I come. So many, so many. And uh, but this is the thing. My my bed is so loud and so squeaky. It's the ultimate cock block. So I can't even do it because I know big old fucking e or. Uh, Eared Holden is listening in the room next door, squeaking his sweet bean. Cause you're, I can't, you're, I can't fucking do that next to him jacking off, coming on his walls. You're actually making love to both of the ugly stepsisters from the Cinderella. Fuck. <laughs> and exactly. the thing is, when you fuck twins or stepsisters, it's like you're fucking yourself because they nullify each other. Ooh, so it's oh. really just a bizarre form of masturbation, which is why I just tend to jack off on chicks' tits, and I don't care if they have an orgasm. And it's really hard to have sex with animated feature characters. Yeah. That's true, too. That's true. You gotta make those cardboard cutouts. I grabbed that fat little clock man and I pushed him. <laughs> and he kept it's always 69 on your numbers. Uh. 69. <laughs> Rabinowitz, what do you think about this guy? He gave his girlfriend some meth. Have you given your girlfriend something, told her something about yourself that would be like, oh, this will make her love me, this will make her understand me more, and then it just totally backfired? And it backfired. I, well, like, I try, you know, talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> right, which is never good. And then she'll, uh, I don't know. I, well, I, I've, tr- I've, never, I've never tried, I've never done meth before or anything really that dangerous. I guess I, you What's know. What's the most dangerous drug you've done? Uh, like a weed brownie. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> you bad. Weed brownie, the lowest form of weed, yeah, a but dessert. Like, it, was, it was. I mean, but the guy, but the guy, the guy said that it was like almost a gram in it. So like it was, you know. Well, no, I mean, I, mean, I don't yeah. know how you no, survive. I feel like you know what I'm saying. I know. I'm not I don't know if I pertain. Well, no, I mean, I would do, you know, actually, no, I would. I was about to I be like, I would like do four meth, brownies worth of weed. 
you don't understand anybody, what this any- man's life is, man. I've been to his house before, his house where his parents live. It's fucking chipmunks running around and shit. <laughs> Living Every large. time we go, so we gotta go like on a road trip or something. His mom just packs just tons of <laughs> snacks. Just fucking snacks, man. Like, yeah, it's so nice. About, she's yeah. a great woman. I love her. I love his father. I don't want to have sex with them both. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. It's like, they're literally, this dude is the squeakiest. When you say the pinkest asshole in comedy, that's the truth, man. Right. This guy comes from nothing but niceness. How do you feel when you're over at Rabinowitz's house, KB? I feel like I'm in that OG white, that old school <laughs> white. <laughs> like cleaver white. Yeah, man. Yeah. But it's comfortable. You just start like serving the family. And you're like, I just, yeah. I, felt like I, I just felt like I should bring you water. I don't know why. I don't know why. Guess who's I'm coming saying, to dinner? You walk in carrying the father's golf club. Right. <laughs> and the father's like, I don't even have golf clubs. No, I bought them for you. So I can carry them for you? When I stay over, I sleep outside under a tree. But I get it. <laughs> I love that, Kevin. He's so respectful of our culture. He's yeah, always willingly. whistling. <laughs> Wait, has anybody had some been laced? Had some shit that was laced? Uh, I think I had some shit that was laced with PCP once. Oh yeah, I've sadly Ooh, always yeah. had to buy my drugs. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we. Uh, it was in high school, and uh, me and a few friends of mine were uh, camping out at a place we called China Berry Grove. And we all smoked a bunch of weed, <laughs> and uh, then we ripped rice a... patty. Feet. Wait, <laughs> why'd you call it that? Yeah, yeah that you call it moist. Oh, monkeys! Oh, what kind of No, we uh, we smoked that, and then we hung... no, it was nothing like that. <laughs> no, I know. I'm <laughs> right. <Okay>, pretty sure. <laughs> I wish we could just like clock the average time before Jackie or Henry says something racist against the Chinese. Yeah, <laughs> because I'm barely it's about four and a half minutes in. <laughs> so, uh, so we. We smoked that, and uh, then we took a rabbit carcass, a rabbit that someone had killed earlier, <laughs> hung it from a tree, Ooh, and then man. ripped it apart with our bare hands. Oh, oh God. That's All right. That sounds awful. like PCP. Uh, yeah. 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 That's about right with the PCP. Yeah, I think I, w- I was 14 or 15. Did blood like come out of stuff? I had a, My, my oh, girlfriend course, yeah. had um, uh, smoked a joint, and the dude was like, it has PCP, in, and blood started coming out of the walls and stuff, well, and I hear that a lot. Well, it, my brother tells a story where he uh, smoked some of the same shit, and he he was uh, driving in his car, and he thought that he was driving like 80 miles an hour until his friend just opened the door and started walking next to the car. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing is they were driving 120. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the he thing. Was... PCP makes you Carl Lewis. That, no, that's just standard weed, though. Every time I've driven while weed, I'm always just like... Man, I'm being a bit of a fucking rocketeer out here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm posting at 25. It always turns into uh, a video sir, game. Yeah, yeah. You, your car is in reverse, sir. Well, that explains why everything's oh, looking man, so. Oh I was fucking listening to too much. Cool. <laughs> was, I was just trying to get younger, man. I, I was do, just I, trying to get younger. I <laughs> want one crazier drug thing though is that uh, when I was a freshman in college, me and my friend we bought mushrooms. Ooh, yeah, and mushrooms. he kept them in his drawer, and we would like look at them. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and that, that really <laughs> is the craziest drug story I've ever. Heard. <laughs> it's not, what were you guys thinking? <laughs> Do you guys so want to hear this amazing <laughs> drug story about had, restraint? <laughs> so we had we had these mushrooms. Yeah. And then uh, and then the last day uh, freshman year of college, we sold them back to the drug dealer for ten dollars less than we bought them. For. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, not oh, a good so Jew, like, though, man. We gotta make some money. We just didn't want to have any problems, and we didn't do any of them. Oh, yeah. Was, that, so mean, like, how do you do that? No, I know it's weirder than doing it. I yeah, 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 it's much yeah, easier than doing it. Yeah, I uh, real quick, let's get back to this story, Marcus. What's happening yeah. with this guy with the meth and well, the uh, cigarette? Uh, the wife called police to her East Bremerton home Sunday. That, by the way, the story's in Washington State. She said that Saturday, while they were at the house with their two children, her husband had offered her a cigarette. Cigarette. She, she said that when she started, quote, freaking out, her husband told her he had put meth in the cigarette. The husband allegedly told two friends that he had a, quote, 15-point plan to get his wife addicted to meth. <laughs> wow. wow. I don't very think that's that's a lot of points. points. Yeah. I mean, the first point is to smoke like, meth. Yeah, yeah. like, like have a do meth. Point two is to fucking build a shed in the backyard overnight. <laughs> <laughs> three is to go and paint the house. <laughs> Hope she likes purple. Uh, fucking nightmare, man. Yeah, I'd lose my points. mind. Henry, what do you think point, like, 12 is? Oh, point 12 is, like, you know, thank the coyote for showing you the knowledge. (laughs) (laughs) Clean the skull off and fucking present it to the ruby lord, you know? I don't understand why he told her. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just let her smoke the cigarette, smoke your meth, and have a great time together. Yeah, Yeah. party all night. 
Micah, yeah. if you had to uh, convince By the a girl, way, I'm very ethical. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> what what drug would you force on your significant other? Like, if you had to, like, be like, I would just, I, I love meth or like mushrooms. Like, or crack. if you had a gun to my head saying you have to give, like, your... do something. What drug you force on another person? Because I think meth, it's actually, uh, it's it's a little controversial to give to the girlfriend. It makes them scratchy and they get bitey and they get fighty. They get like, mean. They get I mean. feel like it's got to be something to balance whatever their general personality is right. out. So if they're hyperactive, you'd want to give them something like, like some opium, opium. Some yeah, like that. heroin. Quailers. But if they're like super like, no, I you don't want to go out tonight, then you give them like, you know, cocaine. Your speeds, your cocaine's yeah. your speed So, balls. Micah, your girlfriend, what would you give your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. But okay. let's pretend like you're a man, you don't need I gave her a bunch of cocaine. <laughs> 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 no, I'd be worried about giving her uh, giving uh, someone a fucking drug overdose. If they if they don't never had the drug and then they yeah. just keep doing the drug because they don't know what they're doing, they're probably... You know, gonna die. I'm gonna go with ecstasy on this one. <laughs> <laughs> ecstasy, oh, yeah, ecstasy is a good drug to give. With I got, I got dosed with ecstasy. How was that experience? Not great. Because uh, like I did against it, your wishes. Yeah, I, I did it. A bu- I've done ecstasy on purpose before and had a great time. <laughs> sure. But then, like, I reached a certain point where I was like, well. This is something I don't need to do anymore. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, was it because of the depression the next day? Yeah, I yeah. The no come down's a bitch, yeah, man. Yeah, uh, yeah I just I couldn't take it. And I was at a bachelor party, and the groom was like, "Here, man, have some of my beer. I'm done with it." Right, right. And I was like, "Great, yeah, 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 no problem." Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then I was like, "Oh, oh, weird, yeah." Um, oh boy. And immediately started coming down. Oh, like okay. I was already having a great, I was having a great <laughs> time at this concert, and immediately started coming down because I knew I was going to have a fucking come oh, down the next day. Think about it. You got to enjoy and embrace mm-hmm. the drug, though. Yeah, I was like, already on enjoying and embracing other drugs. Yeah. yeah. Did, I, did I talk about that here? When I got, they put uh, Molly in my drink? No. Oh, no. Where was that at all? This is like, what, like, whenever I went to Tallahassee like a month or two ago, <clears throat> that was the craziest thing, too. Did you was get like, super horny? Oh, man, I fucking loved it. But I, had, <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea I was oh. on it, though. Like, it was like, we were at the bar, and then uh, my, my uh, cousin Dwayne and my friend Barry were like, yo, we doing Molly tonight, man. You trying to be about this? I was like, nah, man. And I went to this You're long to story. You're with three guys and one girl <laughs> yeah, named no, Molly. Exactly. We're I went to this long story about together. how, like, drug-induced psychosis is a thing in my family. I think on my mom's side, at least. Wait, drug-induced like, psychosis is... Like, they, it's people who have lost their mind, like, forever. And I was oh, like, okay. and that I, happens permanently. Like, yeah, the yeah. story, the Ben Folds 5 song, where the guy went the guy up went the tree. Yeah. mushrooms and yeah, became yeah. Uh, super religious. Yeah, <laughs> and I was, and they're like, "Oh man, that's horrible." Like I talked about that for like five minutes. Like, "Oh man, that's crazy, man. That sucks." I'm like, "Yeah, man." So I, nah, I ain't, I ain't doing it. Go to the bar. They're like, "Hey, you want to get a drink? We'll get you a drink." I'm like, "All right, cool, cool." They fucking dropped the molly into my drink. Oh didn't my tell me, God. and I fucking wow. lost my mind. It was great. I loved it. But you had a good time. <laughs> the with thing it. about me on uh, Molly is that I just loved giant. Black women. I, women. I'm talking about like obese. Like I just right. fucking just the softness of it. <laughs> right. like, I, remember, I remember dancing with a girl at one point, and I was just screaming, "Yes, yes!" the whole time. <laughs> and like for the rest of the night, I wanted nothing to do with anyone who wasn't a giant black woman. Oh, <laughs> I like that. That's amazing. I should take more of that drug. <laughs> I love when a woman feels like a pillow. Wait, so, Kevin, like, what relative lost their mind? On? I don't, I don't even want to go into yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, we can't I go can't. Really. Well, let's go to the next news story. In uh, San Jose, California, police have charged a couple with kidnapping a handyman to fix stuff around their house. <laughs> oh, that's please great. let me go. Please, will you just, will you please let me go? We own you! <laughs> police say the couple beat up the man when he arrived and threatened him with more if he didn't fix the dishwasher and a broken door. <laughs> I mean, just fix it. Just, just fix, fix it. it. He did so, and they were driving him to another house when he escaped at a gas station. Partial explanation, the handyman apparently had a dispute over work he had for a relative of the couple, and police say they were exacting revenge. <laughs> Not bad. What a good revenge. Yeah. Says the Santa Clara County Sergeant, quote, Pe- pretty much told, hey, we're going to kill you if you don't do what we tell you. We want you to fix these things around the house. Out of fear of the unknown and of what's going to happen to him, the handyman complied. I mean, can you imagine how much worse it would have been if he was a mailman? Or if he was someone who just had no idea how to fix a dishwasher? <laughs> I mean, at least they chose the right guy. <laughs> You're asking a handyman to fix shit. He's like, well, I can do that. I can conquer this problem. I would, I would be dead in a ditch right now. So Immediately. <laughs> fix the dishwasher. Uh, you're, just, you're, you're, you're just pissing on the dishes? I don't know how to clean anything. No, it's, a mu- it's just a much bo- more boring Saw movie. 
Where it is. <laughs> Where instead it is. of like, instead of having this big helmet, you have to like unlatch it. Like you just have to screw this into this yeah. wall. <laughs> I can't like find a couch. stud. <laughs> yeah. There's I mean, three studs. Jackie, yeah. is is this a woman's fantasy come true? Yeah. Just abduct a handyman and force him to fix everything in your house at gunpoint. I would love. I just want to own a man. I would just right. love to have uh, slavery. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll cook for him and like I'll treat him nice, but he can never yeah, leave the house. Gave in, he would have just been a part of the family. That's right. The thing. Yeah, you're a very fine. helpful no, you new are, you son are or daughter. Literally describing slavery here. Yeah, but like <laughs> I'll make him feel good. You want <laughs> That's like, I guarantee like, you. on him unless he like fucks up or something. Yeah. 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 Every year he gets a fat Christmas goose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wanna, if you want to do this for a week and make it make it a documentary. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right. Yeah. But you can Fuck never Morgan leave Spurlock. the house ever This is again. much bigger. I mean, I think, Jack, if you were a slave owner back in the day, that would be the happiest slave uh, folks on the planet. Yeah. Because you would just fuck all of them, and all they would have to do was uh, orgasm on you. Yeah, I just have to Thomas Jefferson their ass. Exactly. That's what I'll call it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. They were I, the I just also like imagining the Maytag repairman at gunpoint being right. dragged from house to house, forced to fix things. I, I think it's like, a great plot. Well, also, movie. most men don't know how to fix anything anymore. So you hey, gotta I know how to one. fix shit. I'm I don't sure. need to fix anything. I'm good at just it. kidnap a handyman. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kevin, if you were a slave, would you like to fuck Jackie, or is that idea d absolutely <laughs> disgusting? <laughs> you know, I think if he was a slave, he, a slave, he wouldn't have any choice. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the thing. True. I'd be up in it all night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how you get to stay in the big house. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about staying in the big house. <laughs> so what's happened to this couple? Are they just, are they getting charged with a kidnapping? Yeah, they're getting charged with uh, assault with a deadly weapon, kidnapping, and false imprisonment. Oh my god. Right, cause, so did they let him go at the end? Well, he escaped <clears throat> when they stopped at a gas station. Right. Uh, he escaped, called 911, and uh, the clerk says the officers drew their weapons as the two kidnapping suspects nervously shopped for snacks. Why would they assume he wouldn't es <laughs> escape? Yeah, they both left yeah. the car. No, yeah, no, nah, they uh, yeah, he uh, escaped at one station. They drove to the next one over because they're like, ah, the police are probably gonna come. And then they sent out, of course, an APB for these assholes. Uh, and uh, the handyman had called nine one one from a man named Eric Hendricks nearby home. The man didn't want his face on camera. Uh, quote, a blonde-haired gentleman came to my door, knocked on the door frantically, asking if he could use my phone. Apparently, he said he'd been kidnapped and beaten, and I could visibly see he had some injuries. I mean, that neighbor said the handyman had blood on the side of his face. Even though authorities say there was no gun or knife involved, the suspects were arrested on the aforementioned charges that I uh, said. Earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was called to the house to be assaulted. So, so he, sh <laughs> he should have known. So, all right, you got to kidnap a certain type of person to uh, better your life in general. Who are you kidnapping? It wouldn't be a blonde person. It'd be a doctor. <laughs> yeah, a, a, doctor. a good doctor. Yeah, a doctor, doctor would be great. Would be great. A doctor I'd would love be to kidnap a doctor, beat him up, and make him look at all my lumps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like a, a, a tailor would be a lot of fun, and then all your clothes would look really good. Ooh, yeah. I yeah. like that one. What That's do you want? Good. Let's kidnap some A doctor men. tailor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what, uh, what service industry person do you want to have? Well, I was thinking Taylor Swift. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah just naturally. have her, like, play a concert in my living room for 12 hours, and then, but then what do you, you do? Just have a marathon <laughs> beat-off <laughs> session. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Just have a marathon <laughs> beat-off session, essentially. Yeah, I guess. Man, <laughs> better, I wish you and Taylor Swift probably have the exact same asshole. Definitely. <laughs> no yeah. doubt about no, that. No, no, it's not, If we ever meet, we'll definitely try and talk about that to bond. That would be, like, a really good bonding point. Oh, it would be great. <laughs> Show me yours, and then, you know, yeah. she shows you hers, and holy yeah. lord. Yeah, speaking of Rabinowitz, I think Henry and Jackie just want to kidnap a G. No! Oh, a Taylor yes. Wise. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Weiser! Of course. <laughs> is Taylor Swift Jewish? No. Uh, no, Josh, Josh is. Josh is Jewish. Oh, Josh yeah. is Jewish. Josh, I'll yeah. never want to kidnap you, though. Hey, Josh. Oh, okay, thanks. Are you a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> you guys just kidnap Jews and then find out they're not doctors. And you just <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you're your not disappointment a to your mother? Yeah. Get out of Get here. Get out of here. Well, then you just blindfold them and you leave them someplace. Yeah. Well, no, that, that I guess, yeah. You just give them about three or four sandwiches in a plastic sack tied to their belt, you blindfold them, and you leave them out in the woods. The sandwich is a nice thing to do. You know? I yeah. think so. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want we to die. No. <laughs> this, is not about, this is about getting a service. A service. How many sandwiches and what kind? <laughs> Three <laughs> sandwiches. Tona. Tuna? Tuna? <laughs> tuna? <laughs> you get bored of the tuna really fast, so you just switch up the third one. <laughs> no, I can't sit here thinking about the sandwiches all day. It's just, give them something to eat. 
I'd be fucking pissed, man. I'm like, man, I've been this bitch a slave for 10 years, and she ain't know I was allergic to tuna. <laughs> 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 I was in the big house. <laughs> <laughs> you just house. swell up and she kicks you out because you're fat. It's an allergic reaction. Do I like tuna? <laughs> the, the, but both these stories just don't make me believe in love because the first one, it's like, oh, these are when two people don't get along horrible right. things. Happen. Now, these people really liked each other mm -hmm. and then kidnap someone. See, I'd, right. I'd also kidnap Mario Batali. Ooh. Keep him around. What would you have Mario do for Making you? Making pizzas and pastas. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, and then slowly but surely you begin to pay him and then he's your employee. Yeah, not and bad. then they you can't... Just, you switch it over. Yeah. Josh, if you were kidnapped by a couple, what yeah. sort of task would you like? be like, I can do this for you? Ooh. Um, I don't know. I would, you know... I feel like I could be just... unbelievably cute no, and they I... could just paint you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a house elf. <laughs> yeah. Dress like, like Dobby. A... <laughs> yeah, like a little schoolboy, yeah. You'd be a great <laughs> human <laughs> ottoman. You'd be a great human <laughs> ottoman. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You're not pudgy enough. You oh, wouldn't okay. be comfortable enough. All right. Yeah, well, yeah. I would put on, yeah, I would put on some weight and then let them use me as an ottoman. You could use some weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I know. I don't look. Yo, everyone, let's, yeah, you're so cute. Oh. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. You, can also you take use every opportunity costume. to say that I look sick. <laughs> Why are you calling Josh sick right now? I mean, Josh looks horrible. I tell him that shit all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like a little Pokemon. He's like a big old eyes. He's just like, oh, were you going to come on my face? I had no idea. It's like, I've been telling you I was going to do that for 10 hours. Oh, God, especially <laughs> in this room, though. Poor Josh is just surrounded by big monsters. <laughs> <laughs> we don't ever drug. We drink every night. You're fucked up for not. Well, yeah. No, but that's the thing, though, because I'm, really, I'm really, I'm a really, hair, I'm really hairy. Like when you're talking about that, I have a, a pink asshole. Yeah, sure. I don't even. I'm not confident anyone. I'm very. It'd be hard to see. It's, it's, it's that hairy down there. I'm a, I'm a really hairy guy. Let the record what? show Josh yeah. from Benwitz is a hairy asshole. I'm pretty right. sure I could find it. Let <laughs> <laughs> him in there. He's searching for it like he's looking for truffles. Did you find him, Mike? with his snout. <laughs> All right, come on, Josh. Let's see that chest. Na oh, yeah. oh, oh, no, no, no. Mark is so definitive about this idea. Let's put, let's put it to a vote, all right? Yeah, yeah, no. No. We're trying to get really like real that. really quick. It's like a really <laughs> shitty version of Howard Stern. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Texas <laughs> wedding. Yeah. All right, let's see him. Let's see what the right. top of your bush hairs. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Jesus God. Christ. <laughs> Yo, has a woman ever complained about your hairy anus? My hairy anus? No, no, it's never really been implemented, I guess. That's good. All right, let's move on. Yeah. All right, we're What's gonna, going on with this story? We're going to move on. Well, that's pretty much the end of that story. Right now, we're going to move on to monkey news. Oh, yeah, it's the monkey news. Everybody a monkey expert's monkey. wife, and this uh, story is out of China. Oh, um, oh very good. Oh, yeah, we're right, monkeys. Oh, uh, monkeys, <laughs> right? Come on, we're too strange. <laughs> <laughs> a monkey... <laughs> Chinese Henry, what do you feel about the monkey? Oh, it's like a richer person. If you put a richer robe on him, it's kind of you. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do with the monkey, oh, Chinese Henry? Oh, I pat his head, and he brings me berries. <laughs> what happens if a monkey... Kind of berries. What if the monkey doesn't bring you berries? Oh, he gets a slap strap. <laughs> monkey gets strap. slap strap. <laughs> well, what on earth? <laughs> what on earth and why? <laughs> oh, he, he runs. This is Shrap Shrap. We're not talking about the <laughs> filthy Irish. Oh, I hate the filthy Irish. Fuck right. right. the Irish. Well, we're going to get to the Irish later. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. A monkey expert's uh, wife has revealed the secret to her husband's <laughs> success as one of to China's top trainers. She breastfeeds her simian students. Nope. Oh, that <laughs> no. That's, that's not great. what you do. And they don't gnaw on the nipples? <laughs> that's my question. They're not G chewing on them things? Zhao Zingzhen. Reveal the bizarre <laughs> method during interviews to promote husband I Hong Ai Shing. Oh, Mr. Monkey, do you want some ranch? And the monkey comes and he sucks him a much between me. <laughs> oh, so good to be trained. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, this is like Chinese Cartman. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Zhao Xinzing revealed the bizarre method during interviews to promote husband Hong Ai Shing's monkey school in Nanyang, uh, Henan province. And monkeys? yes. Yeah. They do have a monkey school. Uh, Huang34 <laughs> has become one of the region's top monkey trainers, supplying young apes for work in movies, circuses, theaters, and to street performers. I'm going to show you guys a picture. This is side by side. The monkey trainer on the left and what they teach the monkeys to do on the right. 
Is he hugging a dog? <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah, hugging dude. a dog. <laughs> monkey it is on, on the left. Back. A I woman the dog with the deck one monkey it. on her shoulder and a, a monkey on each leg and kissing a monkey. The uh, picture on the right, which, by the way, you can find on the round table of gentlemen oh, Facebook page. Dog. The monkey, dog is incredibly too. pregnant. The <laughs> monkey on the right is <laughs> a mon- the monkey on the right is a monkey riding a pregnant dog. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, you're a monkey trainer. You're a Chinese Henry, and you're you're training monkeys and how to get. <laughs> To a pregnant dog, how you how you telling it to get? I had no monkey. You see, dog, fear with baby dog, right? <laughs> you go by right there, hug it real hard. <laughs> oh, right. isn't that the cutest thing I've ever seen? A monkey do. All right, well, I'm gonna, <laughs> uh, Hong and Kong. What, what's if, the you can, if you can, if you can, where and why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's, the, what's, what's the reward? Because no give one's to ever the seen monkey. monkeys to China's top sitcom, Monkey Hug Preggy Dog. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's their everybody <laughs> loves Raymond or their Seinfeld for a second. Uh, well, I'm gonna get uh, hung. Every, everybody hug. <laughs> everybody <laughs> hug Preggy Raymond. Dog. Yeah, no, it's you. Just gonna really take over the nation. Everybody <laughs> hug <laughs> Well, I'm gonna get Hong Kong to help me out with the quotes here. Uh, his wife, Xiao27, explained. Many times, some of the baby monkeys strip into our bed at night to suck my breasts. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> How did you feel when they suck That would be many times, some of the baby monkeys slip into our bed at night to suck my breasts. Thank Why? You Why <laughs> couldn't the translator <laughs> choose more clinical words? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel they are just like my children. Yeah. I feel like they are just like my children. <laughs> they in are this, not. In this house, the monkeys are king. <laughs> in this house, the monkeys are king. <laughs> when I see him praying with my son, I can see how close we are to them. And they are to us, and I'm pleased my boy has such a good playmate. <laughs> when I, I can't see be him. here for this. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh my God. Look at these monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're gonna go through some monkey pictures here. Yeah, and oh, they're so oh, sweet. God. Oh my god, oh, that's oh, my. She's that's her tonguing make- that monkey. Oh, She's god. tonguing a monkey. It looks like oh. Mick Ryan oh, and Tom Hanks. Oh my god, Hanks. it's sucking on her breast. Her breast is down by her waist. Henry, what if one of these monkeys messes up and can't grab the dog? How are you encouraging it to grab the dog? Oh, what I do is I ray on my berry <laughs> when I too am pregnant. <laughs> and they come and they hug my neck. And I say, pretend I'm a doggy dog. <laughs> 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 and by the way, there is a picture of a monkey feeding a child a peanut. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. That's a good monkey. That's a very cute. <laughs> Oh, cute Why animal. is she still <laughs> producing milk? I don't understand. Oh the kids- child seems to be pretty old. Well, you know the the funny thing is, is that uh, any mammal, sucking, right? any mammal can uh, breastfeed any other mammal. Like, Jackie, uh, if you had to have one animal suckle on your sweet tits when you're lactating nice milk, what animal would it be? A seal. <laughs> they would probably feel really nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, the seals think- are giant. They're gonna rip. Ah! Yeah, they got dog teeth, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do have dog teeth. Preggy dog. <laughs> oh, oh, preggy dog. Oh, Everybody just, loves preggy dog. Everyone does. How about you? Uh, Such a great knockoff of a knockoff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You should. It should be like an octopus, something with no teeth. No, yeah, no, no, no. See, no, no. She can't breastfeed a mollusk. Yeah. She has yeah. to breastfeed a mammal. A mammal. It has to be a mammal. For, so like a example. shark or something. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Shark is that work. what you would go with, Micah? You I want a shark to go, nipple I on your... I would go with baby shark if I could lactate. Yeah, just put him right on your chest there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> not bad, not bad. What's happening? Uh, what else is going on with this story? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that story, that's, that's it. That's all done. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. done. There's no more. Thanks for asking. No problem. What happened that you get like, there wasn't no crime or nothing, right? It was just... It's China. Isn't that weird? Yeah, they can do whatever they want. Not really, she you can his- any. Well, you can. It would be the same thing as like we've gone through many stories here where you have dogs breastfeeding sheep, and yeah, uh, yeah. and you can feed a child like for a child if you don't have breast milk, uh, the best thing to give it is goat's milk rather than cow milk. Uh, you know what's so interesting though is these uh, monkeys must have loved her because we've heard so many <laughs> stories recently about gorillas ripping people's faces off and monkeys you know killing people. I mean, they yeah. must have been like relatively. Uh, human about sucking on this tit, right? But they also weren't demonized. These the people, the trainers weren't demonized. The demon, they, they're all being like, like Demonized treasured. They, yeah. Yeah. The country loves how well they're training these monkeys to hug pregnant dogs. 
Right. This <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is what they do. We eat cow milk, uh, drink cow milk, goat's milk, all these things. What's wrong with a human being feeding a, 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 a monkey some yeah, good human milk? Yeah, it is. Nice. Cool. I think this is an evolutionary step of the right direction. And does this mean that China is now officially the superpower? Oh, of course. I mean, yeah, yeah, they yeah, have been yeah, for a yeah, long time. If they're cool with this. Yeah, yeah. Definitive proof. <laughs> Marcus, <laughs> you, have you ever sucked the milk right out of a cow's udder? I never have because we don't deal in dairy cows. We deal in uh, only beef cows. Only murder cows, yeah. Yeah, only murder cows. Every we, only friend. Deal, we only deal with things that we can kill. Yeah, every friend, every cow friend Marcus ever had, he also knew who was going to murder about seven months later. In fact, what we did is that we would uh, we would have one cow that we would raise for an entire year. That we keep him in a special pen, give him a special uh, diet, mm. and then you uh, slaughter him at the end of the year. And a cow uh -huh. can one cow can feed three families for an entire year just as long as you keep him in a meat freezer. Wow! You know what's amazing about yeah. that? That and my cow dad was like, I won. I'm. They're treating me like Ooh, a kid. They must yeah. love me. Yeah. No, no, that yeah. cow. That cow had the best life out of all yeah. the entire year. Like, my dad would name it every year, oh. and he just, every time he fed it, he'd just look at him and be like, I'm gonna fucking eat you so fucking It's I'm very creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 What do you Wait, think yeah. about that, Josh? I, you know, he sounds like he probably is a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a wonderful man. Yeah. My father is a great man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't doubt that, there. but I did not get that from that story. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that story He's always in a massage yeah. in the udders. He just gets your roll in the mutters. He's his a great big, man. Big hands. He's yeah. a great man to humans. Animals, not so much. Naturally, yeah. he. Well, made. if you're a cattle rancher for long enough, you learn to hate and despise cows because they are dumb, dangerous animals. I feel the same way about audiences. <laughs> 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 All right, next news story: a shocking new children's book aims to help children cope with a parent being arrested and thrown in jail. The night daddy went to jail, what to expect when someone you love goes to jail. Why has it got to be a man? That rabbit looks so <laughs> well, sad. Yeah. Yeah, it follows a young... Yeah, it, it <laughs> follows... Murder, probably. Yeah. 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 It follows a young rabbit as his father is arrested at their house in front of the neighbors. Well, that's and just impossible. Says, and sentenced to six years in prison. It offers tips for dealing with the hardship of losing a parent for many years. Here's the cover of the book. Oh, oh you can't keep a rabbit in jail. Look, Why is the rabbit black? He's brown. That rabbit is in blackface. <laughs> it is. It Come is on. I, I mean, Kevin, that rabbit is Hispanic. Uh, yeah. 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 When I was Do you think journey, that the father rabbit was, was arrested for rape? Probably, no, I think if he's brown. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes. He was yeah, raping. Oh, he if it's was... brown, flush it down. Yes. <laughs> oh, He's to jail. <laughs> Through the justices. Two together. weeks on jury duty, not one white defendant. Not one. Wow. It's all black, all Hispanic. And you know what? I don't want to get political or Let's preachy right now, but Good. I will, so I will not. <laughs> I, 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 I have always said that. Hispanics are the new rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the rabbit's name in the uh, story is Sketch. Uh, and he recounts his first-hand experience of witnesses, his father's arrest in their home, and shares his lingering confusion. Henry, I'm going to need you for a little boy voice. Sure. We were at Dad's apartment the night the police came. Ugh. Lights flashed. Neighbors stared. The Chinese? officers put my dad in the handcuffs. The young rabbit recounts with a drawing <laughs> of a potentially highly traumatic scene for a child to, uh, to experience. Your dad may have broken the law. A furry police officer addressed, <laughs> a, addresses the three children after taking their father away. We need to ask him some questions at the rabbit police station. <laughs> <laughs> That's creative. Yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> yeah, and here is uh, some of the uh, illustrations from the Of course, the it's a fucking cat police. Officer, uh, but in the I next one, it. it's yeah. a rat. Ew. It's a rat, a white rat. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. My Where are you taking my dad? I asked. What did he do? Your dad's a rapist, son. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not there in the script. What's going on with you, Micah? Well, my sister's a Montessori teacher, and she sent me. What a, does Montessori uh, mean? It's, it's uh, like fake school. school. Yeah. It's fake school. Yeah, <laughs> I did Montessori when I was. But she, she's uh, she was trying to teach uh, her children how to uh, how to read uh, with blocks. Uh huh. And uh, can you sound that out phonetically? This, she sent me a picture of the blocks. You know what? I literally can't. It it says it's spelled okay. Sound this out what phonetically. You, you, why don't you sound it out phonetically? O F S R. O F S R officer. Officer. I Z. Officer is S A I N G. Saying. G E T. Officer is get, saying. Saying get. O F. Off. T H E. The. B I C H. 
bitch. <laughs> I'm not saying get off the bitch. She's teaching a five-year-old how to write with blocks, and that's what the kid spelled out. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the American system will work and reign forever. Wow. And uh, and here is it goes even your tister, uh, sister, North Carolina. Come on, raise up! Take your shirt, your shirt off, off and twist, twist it around your head like, like a helicopter. helicopter. I don't what? know how to. What is that? What is that? Oh, that. What is right. that? Pie, 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 Pie. It was amazing. Oh yeah, tons of girls got raped to it when I was in college. Yeah, oh yeah, love yeah. that rape <laughs> parties. All right, and uh, it goes on. Uh, it it takes children through the entire experience mm -hmm. of a, a father going to jail. Good, <laughs> which I think is actually a very uh, healthy book for kids to have. And, and, and this I don't is like it, man. this you is like sketch. Really? Don't, why don't you why like, don't you like it? It's dumb. Don't do that shit. They don't need that. Their dad goes to jail. They deal with it the old fashioned way, but letting it brew inside of them go and <laughs> shoot up a school. <laughs> <laughs> So you're looking for more school deaths. Less literature, more kids getting <laughs> yeah, shot yeah. in school. I, I, I love that this book, uh, book yeah. exists. I and think this it's very is, important. This is the scene when uh, Sketch has to go to uh, the prison to talk to his father between the glass on the phone. I messed up, Sketch. Dad what said. I, what I did caused a lot of problems. And I'm sorry. I hope you forgive me. I wasn't sure what to say. I just nodded. Ugh, why would you bring your child into the this prison? Is <laughs> Daddy is gone. He fucked up. You're right, never going to yeah, see him. And you know what? And know what, man? If I'm in prison, I, I just don't want to see my son. I don't want to see no. my child. I will just right. allow them to have the illusion of, like, me being something that I am not. Yeah. When you see something in, pri somebody yeah, in prison, somebody in prison is I'd so ask, powerless. Like, the wife to, like, send uh, Photoshop pictures of me, like, in Hawaii. You know? Exactly. Like, Daddy's on a fun trip, <laughs> yeah. and I'll just be, like, me with the president. And in the that public. bit that we just heard, where is the punchline? I mean, no there's no punch yeah, I don't this understand. Book at all. <laughs> no, this, this book is very serious, and it's really sad. It's serious is yeah. boring. Boring. Yeah. Boring. Get rid of it. <laughs> well, we're going to move on to Ireland. Hey. 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 Dirty hey. Europe. Hey. Dirty Europe is yeah, definitely Ireland. True. It's where the fucking bug people live. <laughs> Kevin, I just want to Kevin, would you want to see your dad if you went to jail? If you were a kid? Yeah, man. Well, you I mean, want to see him? Yeah, it's kind of... If you just goes to jail and you know he's in jail, of course you want to see him. Right? All it just right. depends yeah. on what he did. I just saw a documentary about about parents who were in jail. What was this it was documentary really good. about? It was called uh, It's about I mean, Bedford. It's about it's mothers, uh, incarcerated mothers, and they have a like a nursery there, so the kids come and see them, and it's like suckle it's, on the teeth and stuff like well, that. Well, you know, no, they didn't cover that, but like it was. Uh, it no was, nipples no, it in this documentary. <laughs> no, there, there, no, no. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, you know, it was a good, it was a good documentary. It's like, you know, it seemed like a good thing that they see that. But I know, I there's really parent, funny. The kids say. were happy to see their uh, yeah, parents it seemed, completely it seemed, uh, it seemed very, uh, emasculated. Yeah. I would want to no, see my dad if it was like tax evasion or like bank robbery, but if it was for like fucking all my friends. Like when I'm yeah. a child, like I don't well, yeah. you can yeah. see in daddy. Like no your mode. child friends. And yeah. Yeah, when which, I'm a baby and you're fucking all the other babies. If it's for putting me <laughs> in a wheelchair, then I probably don't want to see it. I don't want to yeah. see it. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. And talking about fucking babies, it's time for pedophile corner. Oh, oh yeah. I always yeah. do this. Yeah. Nobody likes this. Thank you for yeah. fucking me. A boy oh, has revealed how his father forced him to watch porn when he was seven years old before the man led him upstairs when he was eight and demanded he have sex with his mother. Yeah. Uh, What's uh, the problem? Uh, What's yeah. behind you? <laughs> Door number three. Yeah. This dad was just so close to being the greatest dad of all time. Exactly. Go do your favorite thing. You know? <laughs> that was essentially what happened there. Oh, it's Holden's life. Oh. So, so, did your, your so we all know of your love affair with your mother. Did your, what does your father think of all this? We've never covered this before. Drunk and asleep. <laughs> <laughs> he liked to read and drink his whiskey. But he He's also tends now, to his roses. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he tends to the roses. So yeah, it was a lot of like, yeah, it was just a lot of like, we'll meet in the secret room, which mm -hmm. was fun. It was a little secret tiny room. Oh, what's Very in the secret cool. room, Holden? Ooh, stuffed animals. Oh. Oh. All right, continue on with a slightly less disgusting story than Holden's. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years old. At least they gave him like a year of gearing up before he. Yeah, I like that he trained him. A full year. Yeah. The boy, now fourteen, said he did not realize the sexual encounters with her mo with his mother were wrong until four years later, when a stunned foster parent told him she would not force him to have sex with her. Uh, <laughs> quote. Oh. Th this is a quote from the boy. I basically enjoyed it. 
As he testified in the trial of his parents, his abuse was discovered in August 19, 2010, when police visited their Plymouth home after child services received a report that, that a youngster was living in deplorable conditions. And you know what? It's time to reveal to you guys the uh, oh. man I hate the story so much. The man the who forced him <laughs> so to have shitty. sex with his mother. She has one tooth. Oh! oh. That, one not tooth, eat an apple. that one tooth is good and white. <laughs> yeah, it is a yeah, good she and white really tooth. No, She's it is yeah. crumbly. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely it crumbly. Cr and she apart. has a lazy eye. Oh. That dad oh. is passing the buck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. The buck tooth. I mean, we're going to have a different kind of date night tonight. Yes. Hey, pun of the year. Yes. Micah Sherman, oh, pun yeah. of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Love to Micah. Well, the teenager yep. testified on Thursday that around his seventh birthday, his father called him over to the computer and told him to watch a video. It showed naked men and women having sex, he said, and the videos, which he watched three times a week, were allegedly used to train him for having sex with his mother when he turned eight. This is my question. So uh, when they sat down, they, they broke out, the, you know, the Dr. Spock books, and they were sitting there like, how do we raise this child? And they're like, "Sure." well, you know, we can't get them fucking you until at least eight. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you have an erection at eight, Oh, let's talk about oh, yeah. that. How did that work? Like, yeah. Man? No, you like, can have a boner in the womb. But can you, but you can't knock somebody up, like, though, right? No. Your yeah, he's not well, no. nothing. No, no, he's no, not, no. no, but I bet you he was coming something. Yeah, he probably, probably felt Tears, good. and that was tears. <laughs> and yeah. on the boy's eighth birthday... Uh, the husband allegedly led his son to his mother's bedroom and told him to have sex with her. Quote, he had been building me up to it. Woof. Uh, yeah. oh. very disgusting. Woof this story is, is off. Yeah. <laughs> after, after that alleged incident, he was soon having sex with Han, the woman, now 45, as many as four times a week. That woman uh, is 45? Uh, yeah, she yeah, looks Jesus Jesus five. Yeah, she is ageless. She Once is again, a wrinkly, ugly 45. <laughs> yeah, go no. to the uh, Roundtable of Gentlemen Facebook page to see pictures of these horrible, horrible Or don't. Was, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't put yeah. it in forget head. this story ever. Yeah, the, the, the whole story is. I, I'm telling you, before the show, Marcus and I go through news new stories. <laughs> yeah, and every occasionally week. I look at Marcus's face, and he'll be smiling, and that reaction is bizarre <laughs> because you would think you'd be like, "I'm a Knicks fan," I'd be like, "Look at the, like the Knicks one," but no, it's about a story about an eight year old fucking his 45 year old mother. <laughs> I would like, "Hey, what's on your mind, buddy? You look like you're thrilled about something," <laughs> and it's always this. I will well, say I take this. pleasure in the strangest things. In this, I, yes, you do. In this guy's defense. He had a 15 point plan and followed through. <laughs> <laughs> also, think about all the like ugly Please. chicks this kid is gonna bone later oh, on. Oh, yeah, he's oh, got right? no standards. That's Never. Ever. Right. Yeah, well, no maybe that's you, what he was setting him up for. Yeah. yeah. He's right. like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, listen, man. You, you can't gotta... be disappointed. <laughs> You're gonna be yeah. fucking this woman yeah. <laughs> for the rest of your life, basically. Oh, every Some variation fucks, of this yeah. horrible thing. I'd love to see his OK Cuban profile. It's like, who do you want to meet? Someone with like two or more teeth. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Well, he added, the kid added that his father would even coach him on his performance during their pornography sessions, oh. using the films to show him how to improve his technique. So what do you think oh. that coaching went like, Henry? You fuck a hot! You get in here, you fuck her! 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 mother! Where is mama? You hear anyone and you get to fuck your mother! Alright, Micah, this is the most Oi, I love when you fuck me, my baby boy! Alright, Micah. You're such a bummer. I don't want to do an act out from this story. Give an act out from this story. We're just gonna do it. So you're the boy. And also, may I remind you, you are a nominee for. You were a nominee for round tabler of the year. Well, and I this didn't is, get it. So you didn't get it. You guys <laughs> fell short and so am I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're the dad. You have to convince I'm not yourself. doing this. You're not doing it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. All I wouldn't right, do it all right, right kid, it's halftime. Because <laughs> <laughs> I pulled you off of her. Turn up the heat. <laughs> Why are you pulling him off me, Frank? Oh, I God. didn't get my fucking... Shut up. Oh, Shut yeah. up. Yeah. This was your idea. I never wanted to do this. <laughs> Oh, I've been watching porn with this kid for a whole year. <laughs> I haven't had good quality alone porn time. 
<laughs> been a whole year. <laughs> Marcus, no, where man, was this we're story? We're all going to burn the in hell. Of this. The rest <laughs> of yeah, yeah, the rest we're not is burning in hell. Foul. This dude is burning in hell, man. Yeah, this was Fuck in, these this, people. This is in uh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> oh, okay. Pennsylvania. Yeah, and so... <laughs> Read that next paragraph. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. So uh, oh, he so was bad. homeschooled, yet his parents hardly ever gave him classes. Police, when they entered the home, said there was an overwhelming stench of cat and human urine odor, along with Jeez. fecal matter. No, you didn't read this other book. Josh, here. does this remind no, no, you the of one your down here? childhood <laughs> upbringing? <laughs> Is it not a surprise that these people weren't on top I of their shit? Yeah. And, uh, and also, uh, well, the parents, of course, deny all the charges. And Han, the woman, said that she was, quote, a good Christian woman and said she had suffered a tailbone injury from a car accident in 2007 that made it impossible for her to have sex. Unless it was a seven-year-old penis, which is insanely tiny, and uh, she almost doesn't feel it. Well, and the boy, sense. you know, he was living in these conditions, uh, feces, mm. urine, all of that. His treatment made him so mad that he would take Han's cats and kill them. In total, he suffocated 37 cats by oh. putting them in a closet and throwing things on top of them. A few days what? later, he would take them out and play with them, and they would be buried in the yard. Man, he's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah. no, kid, it's, it's a great guy. Sounds fine. like he's got some decent coping mechanisms. <laughs> yeah. he, is gonna, he is gonna woo some hipster girl <laughs> with his child. Yeah. He uh, found a release valve. Jesus fucking lord. I mean, this might be one of the worst stories we've ever reported. So. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's up there. I mean, man. this was this was really bad, and I didn't think it could get worse. It got way yeah, no, worse. It's, yeah. 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 I mean, they're, that, they're cat hoarders, and this kid is murdering the cats. Yeah, yeah. thirty-seven no. cats. Thirty. How many? They have so, many, so fucking many cats. cats. Yeah. And they all belong to the mother. And he did it because he wanted to hurt her as much as possible. He said, I chose the cats because they were my mother's favorite. She angered me so I would do something as revenge. Wait, so was this like after he found out that it was wrong what they were doing, or this is just while he this was is like, just while he, that like pussy. he just kn- <laughs> oh, <laughs> knew. Oh, right. <laughs> Kevin! You! He God. probably was, man, with all that rage. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but was it? Yeah, was it after? He and this was daring. Like daring? this was because what happened is that he had uh, been taken out of the home at ten years old, and then four years later, or I think he was taken out around nine or so. Why was four he taken years out later? Uh, because of the because the parents would make him fuck. No, no, each other. I thought he, he didn't. He didn't know. They didn't yeah. know that yet. It was though. the human and urine feces oh, thing. Okay. You know, when the investigators went in, they smell all this stuff. They sent him to a foster mother, and then the and then the foster mother was enraged when he was like, "So I gotta fuck you, right?" Wow. And that's when she Whoa. reported the, all of these incidents to uh, the authorities. He pro- she probably let him a few times, though, yeah. right? And of smear course. some dookie on the wall just to make him feel more... <laughs> I mean, this guy, yeah, this guy's got Here good training. There. <laughs> I think that was Could a, you such please a fun uh, story. smear some poo poo on the wall to make me feel more comfortable here? Yeah, but it would just make him hard immediately. All the oh poo poo. Oh, I need to kill a cat. I need to kill a cat. Uh, can you, can you imagine meeting I, I meeting somebody at a bar <laughs> and then and then bringing him back to your house? And then all that comes up. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, God. Just I feel like you would like know pretty like immediately <laughs> the second you walked into your house and be like, oh, you're fucked up, right? Yeah, you yeah. had a fucked yeah, up no. childhood. He, d- he struggles with small talk, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this, Every, yeah. everything must seem pretty trivial. Every single time he wants to talk about the new yeah, Prince of Persia video <laughs> yeah. game, he just keeps thinking about all the times he <laughs> fucked his mother. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's got to be crazy. Well, this I kid, this story is disgusting. Now I'm upset. I know, and Marcus left the room so now we're like stuck yeah, we're with this stuck. yeah we have to we have we, to keep he going he could have left five minutes ago but he right. chose to leave after we've been talking about it for five <laughs> minutes <laughs> yeah. I am literally judging you like worse like I don't want to be friends with anybody in this room anymore <laughs> just because of that story yeah because I know that that exists and I know that you all know that that exists right. yeah, yeah, no, I, no. I think we should all take some time off I right. think she was not talk to each other for a little while pretty good at sucking a dick though because no, she had she no teeth no teeth yeah exactly oh, that's kind of fun no, Okay, right. oh, it's great. She, she had a tailbone How do you problem. know? Josh, because <laughs> I've lived, man. What? Josh, you have had, had a, a tailbone. Have you read a really think blow yeah. job, Josh? No, yeah, no. Uh, no. Have you? No, I've never I had a tailbone. No, teeth blow job must be the most disgusting thing on yeah. the face of the planet. Because you, gums are hard. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, gums would just be, it would be like soft gum meat and then that hard uh, gum bone. Like, like yeah, ben, yeah. It would sound like Ben's mattress. Marcus, can we talk about a different story? Of course. 
I, I didn't want to do we're that We're going to go story. to a more heartwarming story. <laughs> a Clarksville woman, this is in Clarksville, Tennessee. A Clarksville woman has been charged after coming clean to police and admitted that she lied about being raped. Police 100% said, of the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying something. <laughs> I'm glad somebody had the balls to say it. Somebody got to stand up for these rapists, man. <laughs> They've Henry's been getting the crushed in the courtroom. <laughs> Rapist union leader. <laughs> Rapist union. <laughs> Police said Lynette Lee admitted to a Clarksville detective Rapist last week. Rapist union leader strike. <laughs> the, uh, uh, police said Lynette Lee admitted to a Clarksville detective last week the rape claim she had made earlier in the month was false. She said she had only made the claim because she did not enjoy the date. God damn. Man. Make sure I mean, you I'll... take ladies out right. <laughs> yeah, by those grounds, Jackie's been raped a hundred times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I could put them all in jail, get that sweet... You get paid, right? Don't you make some money if you get raped? <laughs> no, you <laughs> get paid on <laughs> <a> late night. <laughs> I love how you sassily played with your hair while you yeah, I think yeah. it, 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 unless you run a money. holdings company that owns a prison, <laughs> you don't make any money if someone goes to jail. So, well, Lee, Lee had told police that after meeting up with a man she met online at meetme.com, she and the man -E had gone back. <laughs> yeah, <she> and, <laughs> terrific. Yes. <laughs> she and the man had gone back to a hotel together. According to a report, Lee said once at the hotel, the man removed her clothes and, despite her protest, had sex with her. The no, suspect no, in the case no. was called in by Clarksville police and told officers he and Lee had been out on a date and engaged in consensual sex. During a second interview with police on November 27th, Lee told the detective she wanted to drop the entire case because it was a lie. Police said Lee told them she had lied about the incident, quote, because she did not enjoy it and it was bad. <laughs> Dude, that is like the worst bad dick report. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy I fucked fuck me so so bad I got the authorities involved. <laughs> yeah, I fucked her. How was it? Well, she accused me of rape. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love the redundancy of that sentence too. I did not enjoy it and it was bad. <laughs> oh, man. You should get a couple days for terrible sex, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Oh, Six oh, hours. Man. Poor Holden. Absolutely. He'll be in jail forever. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> yeah. And yeah. speaking of which, Up it is top. time for a well, segment wanna... from Holden McNeely. It's time for lightning rounds. <laughs> Neither one of those are like yeah, those are no. <laughs> hey, Mike, I just wanna, Yeah, that is the sound the cat in the closet makes. Uh, Mike, have you ever fucked a chick so bad that you were worried she was going to accuse you of rape? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. All right, <laughs> it's still a for a segment from Old McNeely. All right, cool. So you just have to answer answer the question as fast as possible. We're gonna do um, four questions per round. Um, at the end of each uh, round of questioning, uh, Marcus is gonna say who who got the best uh, answer. Um, and we'll move on with the scoring. I know it's kind of complicated, but just try to say the first thing that comes off of the top of your head. I, I want to say for the record, I've never raped anybody. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like that. You know what? Like, you I, know what? I have boundaries, and so do uh, everyone that I, I ever sleep with. I want to throw it into. I have never raped a I have woman. not either. I'm going to no, go. Ahead. I was accused once, but it was what? false. You were accused once? All well, right. I mean, well, get into that story. <laughs> no. <laughs> when were you accused of rape? Well, not really accused. It was one of those things where uh, there was a girl that uh, it was in high school, and I fingered this girl, and uh, then afterwards she felt bad about it, so she told everyone that I raped her. And then I confronted her one night. I was like, "What? What the fuck are you doing? You telling everyone that I you raped you?" You held her up against the wall, and you were like, <laughs> "You, did and you raped her." And then she apologized. And then she apologized to me, and then. And told everyone's like, actually, no, he didn't rape me. And then the other time, I meant to say, what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, Hold on. happening? Mike and I went on record to say mm. we've never raped anybody, and then you went on record saying you've been accused <laughs> of raping. <laughs> now <laughs> twice. <laughs> okay, so what was the other time? <laughs> the uh, the oh, other man. time was that like me and a friend of mine uh, gave this girl uh, a ride home from school a couple oh, times. Oh yeah, ride, ride home. home. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and she said uh, she told uh, boyfriends later on, uh, <laughs> multiple boyfriends. This is her sob story to these guys uh, in order to He's make thinking, them. Also, the lights just come <laughs> on. I feel like, I feel like God is coming that. after us right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, she like Jesus is in the room right now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and the lights are turning on and off. This has just been no, pure she told evil for about twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> no, she told a couple boyfriends, and I, 
almost time, uh, got it? into a fight <laughs> twice because of this. She told uh, friends that we took her out to the country and tag teamed her. Which is what? good. I mean, that's what you want to do with not, her. But you didn't true. do it. Yeah, okay. No, of course I didn't fucking do <laughs> it. But that's not rape, though, if you tag team a girl. I mean, yeah, well, she, she said that we forced her yeah, against then her it's will. Rape. Then yeah, it's then rape. Then it's rape. Yeah, yeah. 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 And we didn't do that. Yeah. Mm. So then you just gave her a ride right home uh, from school. Right. Well, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, don't, I, I believe her. <laughs> what is it when you don't do it, but someone says you do? Is that rape? Is that rape? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. In Marcus's brain, it's like we did do it, but then like she said that we did it. I'm gonna just be like we didn't do it, so it wasn't rape, and I think that's totally fine. I didn't it do it. It doesn't matter that you I hated didn't you. do it. Marcus, I I'm really it. glad you didn't rape anyone. <laughs> Thank you. Right. I'm glad. I'm glad that you did probably rape men. Yeah. It doesn't oh, count for a woman. Uh, no, it does. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, lightning round. <laughs> <laughs> lightning <laughs> round. All right. Oh, God, like, does this mean we're going to get boycotted by feminists? Maybe. No, probably. If we haven't been boycotted by feminists yet, <laughs> then we're fucking lucky. Yeah, they're Absolutely. not doing their job properly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they need to be bigger bitches about it. <laughs> we love all feminists. You hear that, oh, feminists? Fuck y'all. Fuck the movement. Y'all ain't doing no shit. Rapist union leader. Oh, no. <laughs> These hoes ain't shit. <laughs> well, ladies, we love you over here. Everybody knows that. We're, we're all just joking. For the record, I like women too. I have never raped a feminist. <laughs> well, you can't rape them. That's why they're feminists. You no, know, steel trap down there. All oh, right. No, they're okay, great people. Go. Women are wonderful. All all right, let's, let's start the lightning round. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, the first uh, the first question we're gonna do. We'll start with Kevin. We'll go around the circle and uh, stop with Josh. Yes, all stop right. with Josh. Uh, we'll do uh, blow up a country, Kevin. I ran. Ooh, intriguing. Fast, oh, spin, oh, fast, fast. Keep oh, this is not know. good. What's that? Keep answering. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't just say Ireland. 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 All right, my God. Luxembourg. It's small, easy to get the job done. Egypt. Greece, except all the the grease will flow into the Mediterranean Ocean. That's not what that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I, I'm no. scoring. You're next. Nice. Oh, oh, Antarctica. Antarctica. Ooh. Who are you going with, Marcus? Uh, Antarctica, not a not, country. Not a country. Not a country. <laughs> yeah, not not a country. Uh, the most <laughs> economically <laughs> person here because America right now is in a big economic crisis. Micah. All right, oh, great. Wow. All right, next question. That one. Song to <laughs> song that is down. song that is played at your funeral, Kevin. Uh, Michael Jackson is another part of me. <laughs> Freebird. Um, niggers in Paris. <laughs> that was a hard R. A hard R. R. Yeah. 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 I'm from North Carolina. I'm sorry. It's not the Jay Z song. It's the uh, <laughs> it's the Charlie Buckets version. 1918. <laughs> I'm sorry. 1918 Germany. I think the only one that was Paranormal Get These. Right. Yeah. Get these niggers out of Paris. We gotta get these niggers out of Paris. Nig Nig Star S in Paris. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, yeah. Fly like an eagle. Fly like an eagle. Henry, it's not the coughing song. What do you got for us? Oh my god, I don't know. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> I think that would be a good song for my fucking funeral. <laughs> Oh, the next one. Oh, no, I like the very little. I would say uh, Freak on a Leash by Cora. I, like I, like I respect you, but that was the first time ever. I can't believe the first time ever in 125 episodes that beer has shot out of my nose. <laughs> Henry gets the point. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, next question. You have to play poker with a monster. What monster are you going to play poker with? Uh, fucking Loch Ness, dude. <laughs> Loch Ness monster. Hit Ben. Uh, Jason hey. Voorhees. Hey, hey, Jason uh, Voorhees. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. <laughs> Want to see him flip out. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, uh, a wolf. 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 We're going to go with the wolf man. Yeah. We're going to go with the wolf man. No, wolf just man. a wolf. wolf man. No, a wolf man. <laughs> Creature of Black Lagoon. <laughs> I the uh, the ab abominable snowman. Abominable uh, snowman. What do you go with? I'm gonna go with Kevin because that's the biggest challenge. Because uh, plesiosaurs <laughs> do not know rules. Exactly, man. I'm out here. Straight. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. The uh, the weapon that is used to kill you. My dick. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> done. Lightning round is over. <laughs> poison pill. I'm going to go poison, poison pill. pill. I'm going to go with a wolf on this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie. Nails. Nails. Like fingernails. Underwear bomb. Underwear bomb. <laughs> Just lo- slow loneliness. Slow oh, loneliness. God. Uh, God, Josh, you get that slow one. Loneliness. <laughs> Jesus, because I think you need it. <laughs> oh, I'm slow and <laughs> <laughs> All right, the UN is now just you and and uh, two cartoon or comic book characters, Kevin. Uh, Roger Rabbit, goddamn motherfucking Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Hell yeah, I'm Ben. Uh, the preacher and um um I'm gonna say um uh, uh. Rick from uh, Walking Dead. All right. Gargamel, Yosemite Sam. All right. Uh, Garfield and Bambi. Okay. Yeah, Spider-Man and that sexy little fucking clock from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Get me and him alone in a room. Uh, his was- name Gustav? <laughs> <laughs> like two gay twins fucking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I Daffy and uh, one of the the Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> Are they comic <laughs> books? Who are we going with? God, everyone had a shitty choice because none of those people have any kind of diplomatic experience. Jackie, you almost got it because I love Garfield, Garfield so much. Garfield is yeah. great. I love Garfield so much. Can I but change I'm gonna, my preacher and Marmaduke? No, nah, it's gonna oh. be have to be Mike on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn it! Oh, oh, everybody hates the lead. Marmaduke. You, yeah, you, you, you are Marmaduke. <laughs> <laughs> and Gargamel was the leader of a house. <laughs> Yeah. All right, yeah. you've, you've got to eat a pussy covered in a condiment. Kevin. Catch up. Barbecue sauce. Pussy juice. Ranch. <laughs> Mayonnaise. <laughs> Mayonnaise. Uh, honey mustard. Honey mustard. Ooh, can I change my Frank's Red Hot? Oh, God. Well, you were almost going to win, Ben. Barbecue sauce. Yeah, barbecue, barbecue sauce. sauce. I like that. Uh, but no, I think that I'm going to go with ketchup. I can't, oh, I can't fucking victory over here. Why not just wait till she's on her period? Am I right, Jack? Like the bulldog coming out from the corner. Yeah. Barbecue sauce is a superior kind of <laughs> All right, what movie would you go back in time and star in, Kevin? Oh, Jurassic Park Two: Lost World. Oh yeah, <laughs> Uncle Buck. Oh, I keep thinking Birth of a Nation, and I should not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Birth of a Nation. <laughs> You no, did no, star no, in Birth of the Nation, no, you white no, asshole. No, we all started no, Birth of the Nation. That's our legend. <laughs> Jackie, what do you got? Uh, do you think they, the bl- Mohicans? Last oh, Mohicans. Mohicans. I've, I fucking the first Chinese movie ever made. <laughs> Hong Kong Peter and his fucking monkey baby. Hong Kong <laughs> Peter. What's the story <laughs> about? Oh, it? It's about a, yeah, it's about a Chinese monkey trainer that chases yeah. <laughs> monkeys to fucking Hong Kong. <laughs> Fucking pregnant dog. All right. Uh, <laughs> I would. I would. Put, now after him, I would want to co-star with him in that and just have just be the only and just you know let him do horrible things. Yeah. To me. Yeah, 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 As yeah. the monkey. You'd be the monkey. Yeah, be the monkey. <laughs> what are you? you know what? I've seen all those movies except. Monkey trainer, Henry gets it. Yeah. I don't understand the logic of that. <laughs> I a goddamn W over here. All right, I liked it better when it was called Everybody Hugs Preggy Dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a good show. I All right, you've got show. to do cocaine with one video game character. Kevin, oh, what do you I don't know video Shit. games. Shit, Master Chief. Master Chief. E Honda. Uh, e Honda. Right off that long Tetris piece. Long Tetris piece. <laughs> no, 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 not wi- uh, That works. Um, so I lose. Uh, Halo. <laughs> He did Master yeah, Chief. Did. Oh, that's his name? Super Mario Pokemon, Brothers. Pokemon. A Pokemon. Pokemon, okay. Princess of Super Mario Brothers. Get that sweet, sweet coochie yeah, coochie. Yeah, you need to put the whole line. I go with that like Waluigi. Waluigi. Little girl. Waluigi. Coming over here uh, in the corner. Yeah, well, I think out of every one. Honda wins. Huh? Yeah. Honda from Street Fighter 2? I don't know. You just, like Jesus you Christ, you can't put Waluigi, words yeah. in my mouth. You can't do that. What are you going I can't with? believe I won with E-Honda. <laughs> By the way, Kevin and Josh are really getting the shaft during this game. Kevin has to go first, so we all get to think of great things. <laughs> I still don't have any points! <laughs> thing. Yeah. Micah. What? Uh, what do I have to do? You Wait, you know what? Nope. That's a man who has obviously done coke before. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do one more. Let's do um, uh, cut off a politician's dick, living or dead. Kevin. Oh shit, uh, Barack Obama, because that would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Dement. Bob Dole. Bob Dole. Oh, he's sweet, sweet Stalin, man. I'm fucking keeping in my cheeks. 
I want to get that Winston tiny little Churchill. <laughs> I would go with uh, Zachary Taylor, but because he he died real young, so I don't think it would it, 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 it wouldn't hurt him that bad, you know. I'm just trying to think of Such something nice. Zachary way to, Taylor was president for like two hours. Yeah, right? no, exactly. So it wouldn't be like you know if he were dickless, it wouldn't be as bad because not as long. That was a funny. Thing. I remember calling it's one of my friends used to do like whenever you'd be like, oh, I'm about to go over to this thing and get this. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go get a sandwich at Subway. He's like, don't do that. That's how Zachary Taylor died. <laughs> 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 Everything. All right, is that the last question, Holden? Uh, what do you think? Should we do one more? Because I, right now What's we have a tie. Score? Oh, we, we need, need a tiebreaker. Tie. Let's what, do one more. the tie, Marcus? The tiebreaker, the tie, of course, is between Maka and Henry. Hoot, 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 hoot. Double hoot. What, 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 what do they have? Owl. Three and three. <laughs> three All right, and three. we're doing one more. You have to double team a chick with a famous musician. Kevin, who do you choose? Oh, shit, motherfucking Yoko Kono. She's the girl who wrote the shit for Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> I want to do Chris Christopherson, and I want to look into his eyes as I come on a woman's ass. Oh. Louis Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> Prince. Prince. Henry. I love that. I love that Lenny Kravitz. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, you I, uh, more. I have Fred Durst. Fred Durst. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Really Dirty. I'd be intimidated. Are you, you know, saying that if I was with Lenny Kravitz, is that while we're fucking, I could call him Lenny Kramitz? <laughs> <laughs> You know, out of that, uh, out of that, that help his situation whatsoever. <laughs> out of that round, I gotta give it to Ben. Yes, oh, thank you wow. so much. All I'll right. take the overall victory. That's been the round table of gentlemen, everybody. Jackie <laughs> <laughs> Zabrowski, Henry Zabrowski. Uh, you just that... took their victory? Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I just want to win one. <laughs> and so I took her worse and I took your worse. You've you won, won one before. You, you know what? The more. show is over. Ben Kissel won the fucking night. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for being here, Josh. Yeah, thank you. Holden McNeely, Kevin Barnett, Micah Sherman. I think the real winner tonight is the good time we had. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right, Marcus Parks, we'll talk to you guys My today. wife's oh! a goose. <laughs> no, that's, oh! that's a rude thing to say about your goose wife. Ha, <laughs> ha.